Hello everybody, welcome back to Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, we are on the public test server. This is patch 5.1.1 and these are the patch notes for this week. This is week two of uh, the update 23 on the PTS. And um, I've managed to find a few cute things to look at. Um, I also wanted to point out here on the very beginning of the patch notes, it does say that they are continuing to investigate the changes to healing and dots. The power level of some of the new and reworked item sets and some of the reworked bonuses from the abilities such as Onslaught. So along with that, they're, they're just saying that they're continuing to look at the major changes that they announced with the first PTS patch notes and uh, they don't really go into m much more there's a couple of things with some of the classes that they've updated or fixed really and then um, as far as major combat changes um, from the original notes there's not much in this patch note Okay, during this patch, we'll be turning on the updates for the Activity Finder. Well, the UI itself looks the same visually, the back end has been completely rewritten. This rewrite should make the Activity Finder much more reliable, especially under heavy load. And there is a stress test coming up here on Wednesday, July 17th from 2 to 4 Eastern Time. And during this time, they will be keeping a close eye on the Looking for Group system and its behavior. And some of the development team will even be queuing for dungeons with you. So be sure to review the known issues below. So they've got some known issues in the patch, patch notes. Um, they're up pretty close up to the top here on the on the patch notes i'm not going to go ahead and read those because they are available on the forum for full read through the other things that they're testing this week is the witches festival so i've i've gone through i've on my template back to this this is the template she is the maximum level and she uh the templates get to test all of the all of the recipes, all the crafting stuff, all of the all of the weapons sets and even the new stuff. So she's got all of the collectibles um except for a new outfit style that comes with Witch's Festival. We'll we'll be able to still preview it in the outfitter screen now. So um now let's look at this. These are some changes that are coming to the Witches Festival. So um, you get the free crow collar from the Crown Store, which is going to be up here under events. So you collect that, you call it. Then she has you. Uh, you got some quest to go get stuff for her, and then basically it's defeating bosses in any kind of delve to find an essence of death. So um, there's a whole list of achievements that go with this. So you can see there's um, some that I've already collected um, just because uh, I already learned all of the styles through the magic of the template style books and things. But you can see there's all kinds of different um, collectibles. Um, there's all kinds of food that you have to try, there's all kinds of, uh, this is the yellow recipes, the disastrously bloody Mara, the pack leader's bone broth, and the bewitched sugar skulls. And then uh, there's all different kinds of plunder skulls for different types of dungeons, so you can get them in arenas. Um, insurgent. I'm not quite sure what that is. Is that um, the PvP? I, I don't quite know what that is. Delves, Dungeons, Public, and Sweeper. Trial, World. Sweeper might be... I don't know what those are. What a sweeper. So, 
There's the more plunder skulls and the basic plunder skull available. And I'm sorry my little icon is kind of blocking this out. But let me show you some of the rewards. So first up here, let me look, go back to the patch notes. Up here, um, skeletal marionette memento. You can earn new skeletal marionette memento and use it to make a pint-sized skeleton dance for the amusement of you and your friends. To earn this little dancing demon, you'll need to obtain 10 skeletal marionette parts and consume them. These skeletal marionette parts can occasionally be obtained from any type of plunder skull, Dramara or not. So let's switch back here. I have, um, I've got the collectible for the, for the little marionette. So, um, I ate the, uh, little skeletal bits and the, the Real quick, let me look at, um, I have a witch's, witch's thing. So here's the, the recipes. So I'll look at those since I have them right on my screen. Bewitched sugar skulls increase max health by 4, 6, 20. Max stamina and magicka by 4, 2, 50. And health recovery by 4, 6, 2. Of course, these numbers can be affected by your level and your championship points and other um, other stats altering items. Disastrously Bloody Mara. This is everybody's favorite. So increased max magicka, max health, and health recovery. Plus, it gives vampires a bonus if you um, it scales back your your vampire. Effects, so it can last longer in the dungeons and the pack leaders bone broth this is max stamina max health for two hours if you're a werewolf so this is like the werewolf version of the bloody mara the rich mara will also slightly ease your transformation these effects are scaled based on your level so um you can see on this one you see on the pack leader's bone broth that there is a new ingredient. I can't see it. I can't point at it at the same time, but it's called dragon bone. So those are some things that we'll be able to start picking up with, um, I believe, at this um, witches festival, if not already. I think we've been picking up dragon bone in elsewhere, if I recall. All right, so let's look at the rich, the witches festival map folio has the skeletal marionette parts. So you would just consume ten of, the, ten of these to get the marionette. Um, and there's going to be treasure maps. So we'll get we we'll get to that in a second. So let's look at the skeletal marionette. I've got her queued up. Let's take off the UI. All right, there you have it. All right, so that's one collectible you get for doing the Witches Festival. Let's go back to the patch notes. And Witches Festival Ritz. Now, these are things that you can find with the Dramora Plunder Skulls. Each Dramora Plunder Skull has a chance to provide one of these new crafting Ritz. In these Ritz, you craft one of the deliciously creepy foods and drinks you can learn to make from the recipes found in Plunder Skulls. So you'll have to find the recipe first and learn it before you can do the writ. So then um, it's also based on potions and alchemy ingredients found in Plunder Skulls. So that's what these are. But when you complete 13 of them, you will earn the Witch's Infernal Hat. And that is the hat that I am wearing on this character right now. So this is the Witch's Infernal Hat. I mean, it just basically looks like a witch hat. Hold it there. 
and when you complete 28 of them, you earn the title Witch. So then there is the Glen Moral Outfit style, which you can learn from the Plunder Skulls. And it doesn't matter what type of Plunder Skull, it could be Dremora or the Plane, any one of them could com contain the Glen Moral Armor Outfit style. And then they also will have the moral treasure maps and weapon outfit styles. So um, you will have a chance to get a new kind of treasure map, a gun moral treasure map, which leads you to strange, creepy locations scattered throughout Tamriel. And you may notice as you approach their des designated location that the weather turns bleak and the air is tinged with magic. When you arrive at your destination, you will find a glamoral weapon awaiting a new master. Touch it and you'll obtain the outfit style for that weapon. Each treasure map leads to a specific weapon, but the treasure map you obtain from a plunder skull is random. Okay, so we'll, we'll look at that right now in the outfit station. Now... This character does not know the styles, even though she's a template, she doesn't know the styles, but we can preview them. So even though it's it's grayed out, let me switch back. So here, she, here we are at the outfit style station. So even while we are, we do not know the style, we can still preview the style. So I can go ahead and put on the Glen Moral Ward, Ward hat, weird hat, and I can move all the way down the line until I get the entire style. And I believe that they are might have a they might have the tinting on them because I already have a dye applied to my outfit, and we have a um, a jerkin like this for the robe. That. I'm going to switch back to the jerkin so that when we get to the legs, we can see the legs. So we'll go quickly down the row here and get to each one of these. And finally, we get to the feet. So we have the feet. So this is the outfit style and um, I'm erase all the colors. Just erase the colors till we can see the original color style that goes with this. Now this is just the outfit. This is not, does not have the uh, weapons involved. So here you get a good view of what character looks like in this. So as you can see, it looks very nice. It has some, um, has a kind of horns attached to the hood and it's got a lot of natural colors to it. And it does, uh, I did play with the randomized dyes a bit helps it really does pop out when you start adding a bunch of different colors so that's basically what this new style looks like it's very very nice i do like it so it's going to be something worth getting for free basically for the activity of the event. Uh, now let's look at the weapon style. I believe it is a staff. If I have it. Not listed under. Not listed as a unique weapon. Alright, so here's the staff. I and this is really very cool. You can see it looks like uh, kind of like a Dreamweaver hoop with 
um, staff and some feathers and looks like some seashells. So uh, it's very, very, a very nice staff. I like it. The last thing I was going to show you on, on that was listed under these uh, kind of collectibles was the Dragonhorn Curio Memento obtained by completing the quest, the Horn of Jadari. This quest will be unlocked at a future date, so look forward to it. This uh, dragon horn is this achievement, this quest that they're talking about, is when um, a surprise guest returns from the five companions, which they've already announced through the videos promoting second promoting this. So it's when Sai Sahan comes and you follow his quest line to complete the um, all of his quest lines and you get this it. okay so this uh this memento the corruption of marsalak is obtained by completing the achievements the challenger for veteran layer of marsalak so there's quite a few of them and uh, so this is what this looks like. This time in this patch, I get to play with the with the very rare mount from Sunspire. So I can actually show him to you because I know. Uh, Haldor, of course, have, have claimed the world's first um, collection of this mount, and uh, but now we can play on the PTS with it. So it uh, spits out fire and ice at the same time, which is pretty cool. He is fully upgraded with all of the riding achievement uh, accoutrements, and uh, so that's what he looks like. I'm glad I finally got to have a look at him. We do have, uh, we do have a gate on the, on the meadow. I'll show you that real quick. Also, the meadow has been in daylight now, so we can go check that out. Okay, so here is the gate. Now, now we finally have a wall to go with the gate. And uh, it is raining now, so it's not bright daylight, but still, you get a better view of the of the house and how big it is. Still no furnishing option. Um, I also purchased a uh, one of the the trial test dummy from the. Uh, from the writ merchant, so um, he puts all kinds of status effects and everything on you. So, so you can see there's every status effect that could possibly be on you is on you while you're fighting this. So it's kind of fun. Yep, that's that about. That about wraps it up for um, the week two of PTS. And uh, remember, Wednesday is stress test on the activity finder on the PTS. So if you have PTS installed, then come on in. And if not, you have until Wednesday to get it downloaded and and log in and, and play with some of the things that are here. So anyway, I hope that uh, you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this presentation. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, Oma Games. If you would like to see my live streams, please go to twitch.tv and follow Miss Oma. Take care, everybody, and I will see you next time.